We would like to thank all of our patrons for your continued support. Hello friends, we're back on Tritea. Today it's time to start the kind of final phase of the galley redesign and build out. Um, this portion of the, the refit of the galley includes us cutting out the original countertop where the sink and the old drop in uh, like range top was and all that stuff. So we're gonna be cutting that out. We're gonna be taking it back to our studio to use as a template where we'll be doing our whole new galley countertop and everything. The new galley is going to have like a completely custom built drop in ice box and um, it'll be like top lifting kind of like a lot of boats but uh, before we had like an old stand up one that was here that we took out that's now where the church table is. So there'll be a whole new ice box. Uh, eventually we'll put a cold plate in it so we're going to go ahead and consider that while we're designing it. And um, we have a new deeper sink we're going to be installing. And then we have to kind of figure out what our trash situation is going to be. Because I'll show you what we have right now, which isn't ideal. So um, me and Camille are going to put our heads together and figure out what makes the most sense. So let's go ahead and look at this and uh, see what we're getting into. Okay, so here's our original setup. Um, this is our old, the original Origo alcohol stove. This is going to be coming out like that. Um, basically... We're going to be cutting all this out. This is like in the plans for the original plans that said your oil skins could go here. So all your wet foul weather gear could go there. Um, we use this section for our trash. So we keep our trash bag there, but that's really problematic because the trash will fall on the other side of the bag or if the trash bag gets too full, it's really hard to get out. So um, we're going to be rethinking this situation. We have a bigger sink, as I mentioned. And basically today I'm going to be removing this track on these doors and I'm going to cut a line directly under the track so that the seam between the new counter and the old is hidden and it's not here where stuff can get in it um, and then we're also going to be taking these home so that we can make these out of Lexan so that we can see what's in there and we can also clean them easier and don't have to worry about doing that bright work um, so that's where we're at the main thing today is to cut this counter out. We'll remove all the fittings for the sink. And then we need to get in there. There's a shelf that we have to cut out that's glassed in. And um, once we get all that done, then we can start making templates for our ice box, which is kind of the next kind of push on that. So the ice box needs, it's gonna have at least three inches of insulation all the way around, which is what's recommended for the cold plate that we plan on getting. Um, so that, you know, that takes up a lot of space. So we're going to be a little bit limited on space, but we're going to make it as big as we can with the space we have. And, uh, we're going to go from there. So I think it's time to start getting into, um, taking stuff apart and making some cuts. Go ahead and get this track popped out. 50, year, 50 years of grime over there. I think the next step forward is um, go ahead and removing all the trim, the teak trim. I'll go ahead and take out our old stove and uh, put it outside and um, kind of get everything dismantled so that I can make that aft cut and uh, figure out what needs to happen with that. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, so we're at the point to where it's time to start making cuts. Um, we got everything taken off, ripped out the faucet, which was like fused on i couldn't get it so i just broke it apart <clears throat> i'm gonna leave the sink attached and then we'll just take it off um 
once I get everything, the top cut free. Um, I'm, I will unhook obviously the hose that goes down to this, this seacock, but right now we're gonna get to cutting this back line that's gonna determine um, what our new countertop size is gonna be. And I'm gonna just follow the ah, or like the furthest back line here um, of where the track was. And then um, I'm gonna glass the two together anyway. So, but that'll give me a nice line to where I'll, I'll know where my sliding track has to go exactly on the new countertop. So um, I'm gonna use this oscillating multi-tool. <clears throat> I buy like cheap ones cause I burn them out kind of regularly. But um, it'd be worth getting a really nice one of these if you're doing a lot of refit stuff cause they're amazing tools. As you'll see, you can do like flush cuts and stuff. And um, they're a little slow, but uh, they can help you cut in areas that you normally can't reach. So um, we're gonna see see how this goes and uh, get to cutting. Okay, so we got our line cut, the two parts are separated. We're gonna go ahead and start taking a rubber mallet and kind of knocking this thing gently until we get it free. And uh, try not to destroy too much of it if there's like buried screws and stuff I don't know about. So um, let's try to tap this thing loose and uh, get it out of the boat. screw right here there we go I think that's it okay so it's free now we just got to get it out without knocking the camera over or damaging my fancy stove enclosure So, I'm going to be cutting a lot of this bulkhead out um, because I want my ice box to come as far as close to this seacock down here as possible without interfering because we're going to be replacing that soon, all of these. So, now I get the fun task of cutting this out and then we got to cut out this bulkhead. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the bad setup that we had. So here's where we're going to be cutting out. Here's where we used to keep our trash, but you see how the stuff falls back there and you can't get to it? Terrible setup. So um, Camille insisted and I agreed we need to just do away with that. <clears throat> so if we cut out this bulkhead, I mean, there's going to be a lot of wasted space under here. Maybe we can figure out a way to use it for stowage, but there's such a little access hole that it's difficult. Um, I'm suggesting we move the sink aft a little bit and then have like a little square lid that you lift off where you can have like a trash bag. Cause then it'd be easy, easily accessible. 
So we'll see what Camille thinks. Um, work our way through the process of designing this layout. So it's it works perfect for what we need. Um, but now my next task is to start cutting out this shelf. And uh, once we get that cut out, then I can actually start like cutting pieces of cardboard and trying to get a rough idea of like how big our icebox is actually going to be with the space we have available. Okay, so what I've done for starters before I cut this shelf out is I've measured out our tightest spot to be at least three inches, which is going to be our insulation minimum insulation depth. Um, we're going to be losing some over here, but I don't want to make all these wild angles in our icebox. So this is going to be our straight line. What I did is measured out from the hole three inches, and then I took a board that had a square bottom and, and brought it out. You could use a straight edge, you could use a speed square, whatever. Um, so we brought our line out so it meets on this bulkhead over here, so we know this is where we need to cut. Now, it turns out to my benefit because all this part over here is glassed in with like, it's tabbed in with fiberglass from the original boat construction. And I've cut that stuff on the other side and it sucks so bad. So luckily for me, all we have to cut is this old plywood. So it's going to be much easier than I thought it was going to be. And this little shelf actually benefits us in the construction of this new ice box because we can use that as like a, you know, a way to like, uh, like I can build out on the back side of the ice box a little, you know, like two by four that sits on this and it gives us support behind the ice box, which is great. So um, that's that's turned out wonderful. Also, it's going to be a nice shelf that we can all of this top insulation can go on. And then down here, you know, we're going to be thinking about something else. We're going to have to like do some sort of adhesion. We'll probably use like a resin or something to to adhere the foam to the hole itself. But um, let's go ahead and cut this line and uh, get this shelf out. And then we'll start thinking about cutting this bulkhead out. Another piece out. They ride steady dog. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Screws, rusty screws. <laughs> the next step is cutting out this bulkhead. I went ahead and made a cut while I was cutting that shelf so we knew where the line was, where it needed to stop. Um, but I think that's for another day. Right now I'm going to play with measurements and try to figure out how much icebox we're going to get out of this. I'm super stoked about this project. I've been thinking about doing it for a long time and wanted to get into it and had to force myself to wait. Um, so I'm really excited to move forward with this. So I've got a lot done today. Time to vacuum, do some math, and uh, cut out some templates and um, get back to it next time we're at the boat. <laughs>